Brown is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Nice work with the overhand right. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Ali is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Ali's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Ali's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Let's see some more head movement. Frost putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking... We got it. Halfway through the scheduled rounds here. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Hits him in the mug with the right. Frost not just loading up, he's landing combination punches like he did right there. Boy, just staying on the outside away from danger and scoring well. Isaac Frost doing exactly what we expected him to do. He laid out the game plan. I want to win it on the outside. The jab's been there all night. Yeah, well, that's where it starts if you want to win it on the outside. You know, you're not going to do it with your feet. This is not kickboxing. You know, you're going to do it with your jab. And that's exactly, it's boxing 101. One, two. Control range, control One, distance, control the jab. Ali's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Cross cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Finish with Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Scores up top with a left. That's a good jab by Isaac Frost right there. That's a heavyweight championship kind of jab. There you go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Great work by Isaac Frost. Too many of those punches by Isaac Frost, and this night's going to be over. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger, targeting that one-two. He's got confidence he can crack, and he just did there. And he had the distance, Joe, the height that he wanted to set up that punch. Frost always been thought of as a very well-rounded fighter. Tonight we are seeing one specific part of his game that's dominating, and that is precise, accurate, hey, hey, clean, hey, and effective punching. Yeah, and I would argue that you've seen another part. You've seen his intellect. You've seen how smart he is, because everything is designed to land. He's placing shots beautifully. Keep moving. Keep moving. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Great counter punch, and I loved how he moved off to the side and then landed it. Cross jab continues to carry the day. He's wanted it, he's gotten it. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. 
Good combination punching by Muhammad Ali. He, he has his target. He lands a straight right. Isaac Frost combination punching is working well here. Great right was lined up, but he missed. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Right on the mark, double jab. Nice! Ali's doing well here with that two-punch combination. And round seven comes to an end. It will be interesting to see if he finally opens up and lets his hands go here, because so far tonight, as we start round number eight, it's clear on Teddy's scorecard he's just not in the fight. But it's also clear he should have some energy left to deliver. Well, it's also clear that it's the moment of truth, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a lawyer, whatever the heck your profession happens to be, comes a moment of truth. What do you want to be? What do you want to do? How are you going to act at that time when it's most important? We're going to find out right now. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Ali's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Frost so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Able to cover up that gut. He fires off that hook. You know, sometimes a fight takes on a life of its own. This fight has grown into something bigger than both men. They both have risen each other up. Yes, that's a good point. They've made each other better. They've forced each other to become something that when they got to the arena tonight, they were not sure they could be that. That's an impactful right hand by Muhammad Ali. Oh, what an exchange! Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Muhammad Ali. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Cross putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Just did a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Big, big shot comes crashing home. And the power shot gets to Isaac Frost. He goes down. Hurry up, get up! He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. And that's the end of round eight. Isaac Frost well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have them ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there, you got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove to the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but you have to remember, that's a good question, but you have to remember this fighter has been there before. So just remember, I have dealt with it before. And then you have to beat David Copperfield. A little bit of a magician, a little smoke and mirrors, and con your opponent. Let him think you're all right. Let him think you even want to fight when really you just want to buy a little time. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Muhammad Ali. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Very accurate to the body with that. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Oh, and there you go. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? Two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven! 